what are the next things we have in mind for uh, Aditya now? So Aditya, after its uh, earthbound maneuvers, which was uh, you know, going uh, higher and higher to almost 1.25 lakh kilometer, now it has now left Earth mm. from uh, the highly elliptical orbit. Day for yesterday, no? Day for, yeah, yeah, yesterday. Mm. So it started its journey towards the Lagrangian point, L1. It will take almost 110 days for travel from here to reach there. So right now nothing more need to be done. Now it, the final burn of the earthbound burn is now completed. Uh, it, it acquired the required velocity and with that velocity it will simply go straight to the targeted point L1. But the L1 is also moving, Earth is also moving, Sun is also moving. So, so it's a combination it. of moments mm. and we hope that it mathematically it matches exactly at L1. Mm. And this will continuously be monitored because mm. we call, call it orbit determination. So its path is continuously being measured using ground stations that we have. We have a deep space network, antennas are there. So it will measure the arc through which it moves and we will make a prediction, mathematical prediction. It's actually moving precisely there. And you know, it's moving such a far distance, 1.5 million kilometers. So a small error here can make a thousands of kilometers. lakhs of kilometer error Correct. there. Yeah. So we need to very precise, precise, precisely yeah. and, and this, there are opportunities for correction between us. Well. Interesting. Tell me, where are all these things fabricated? It's fabricated at Bangalore, at uh, the URO Satellite Center. Here itself, where, where we stand, it's, where you stand, this is the place where we build all the satellites. Mm -hmm. uh, so the most of the hardware is from this game. Mm -hmm. uh, though the whole integration takes place here, mm -hmm. but it is it has sources of these components come from various parts of the country, mm -hmm. in various ISRO centers. Mm -hmm. See, I can tell you, it, it has propulsion, for example. It has engines. You would mm -hmm. like to go and see it closer? Sure, sure. Yeah. You can see the engine there. See, this is the landing engine. That's right. There are four mm -hmm. such engines, mm -hmm. and uh, there are control engines. Mm -hmm. These are this these are fired to make it um, orientation change. So this engine plus its own feed system, the propellant tanks, it comes from LPSA Bangalore. Okay. And uh, manufactured at uh, Trivandrum, partly manufactured. The engines are manufactured at Trivandrum. Then tanks and propulsion elements are manufactured in Bangalore, and they come and assemble here. The Cameras on this came mm -hmm. from uh, Space Application Center Ahmedabad. So there are many cameras. There are cameras here. There are cameras in front. And uh, when the rover came out, there are there are cameras which put, picked uh, the there are cameras which picked yeah. those images. There are uh, cameras which will measure the speed, velocity, etc. So they are built at uh, uh, Space Application. How many Center. cameras are there? There are cameras just for observation. Mm. There are cam cameras for measurement. For example, we have camera which measures the horizontal and vertical velocities of this uh, movement. Mm -hmm. There are camera meant for looking at the hazard avoidance cameras are there, optical mm -hmm. cameras. Which are. you used? Yes, uh, you for know. the last minute vertical landing. Mm -hmm. So it's about uh, eight cameras, I believe. Idu Asianet News Network Prastuti. New North Tidira, Asia Net, Suvarna News.